Okay, hi, this is part two. Got a bit cut off just now and a bit messy, so I decided to I decided to do some housekeeping. So here, right, you find you find S as you find S if this one is given as one ohm. Bearing in mind that we have already found the resistance of these two, 4 ohm and 4 ohm respectively. Okay, so um, let's do a bit of uh, logic first. This is 4 ampere and the 4 ampere will pass through the internal resistance as well. So using V equal to IR, 4, mi 4 multiplied by 0 0.5 means here to here is 2 volt. So the tax that the so-called battery have to take is 2 volt. Lah. So now we have to consider the potential difference across these two places. So here to the whole thing is 10 volt. So you might be tempted to think that, oh, then miss all these two 4 ohm, 4 ohm. So then the potential should be 5 volt, 5 volt. Uh, to that, I will then say, uh, normally can, but today cannot. And what I mean by that is this. So this is 0 volt. Let's consider the current flowing through the resistors. Up here is 3 ampere, down here would be 1 ampere. Okay, this 1 ampere will join with the 0 0.5 ampere on top. And finally, what you will get is 1.5 ampere. So if you perform V equal to IR for this resistance, you will notice that here to here is 1 times 4. This is 4 volt. And then 1.5 times 4 is 6 volt. So here to here is 6 volt. And 4 plus 6 will just nice give you 10. Yay! Okay? So likewise, here, if given this is 1 ohm, uh, you can find the resistor of these two other unknown resistors already. And what I mean by that is this. Let me change color pan. So if here to here is 1 ohm, then here to here would be 3 volt. Uh, 3 times 1 is 3, ma, 3 volt. If this is 10, this means here to here is 7 volt. Okay? So I know from Kirchhoff's law that the current that is in this branch is from 3 ampere. So 3 ampere, 0 0.5 will enter as 2.5 will remain here. Okay? So I apply V is equal to IR again. This resistance here would be V over I, which is 7 over 2.5. So that would be 2.8. So this resistance here is 2.8 ohm. And if you want to find S, you can use V equal to IR again, but for resistor S law. Okay, so I know that the potential at this point here. Let me swap color. This point here would be 7 volt because 10 minus 3 is 7. And this point here would be 6 volt because 10 minus 6 is, I mean, 10 minus, 10 minus 4 is 6. So this would be 7 minus 6. The current flowing through resistor S is 0 0.5 and this is R. So from here, you can find your R as 2 ohm. Okay, so if I were to set the question, I will change it up. I will give you 4. I will ask you to find something else lah, with the same circuit. Because we are testing you differently. Mah. Okay, so this is one extra thing that I want to talk to you about. The second thing I would like to talk to you about is your lab. Lab, the one that you just did. Okay, remember this, this one, this. Uh -huh. Remember one lah. If you have done the lab, okay. So I want to talk a bit about the theory first because now you are well poised to understand the theory already. Okay. So a few things about this experiment. Number one, they didn't specify the polarity of the power supply. Number two, they did not specify the polarity of the voltmeter, meaning you 
could have two different graphs but still be correct. Now to make my life easier, I'm just going to discuss one of the two. So let's say this is positive, this is negative, lah, okay? Can, like normal. Just like I will take this lead as positive and I'll take this lead as negative. Red wire is positive and black wire or the ground line is negative. Okay, so um, I'm just going to make our life easier by giving all these things values because unknown very painful la. let's say this resistor is 10 ohm let me take a pen where are you there we go so let's say this one is 10 ohm okay and then um, this wire is 100 cm as you are well familiar with the wire and i don't know la, let's say 12 ohm okay and then this wire is let's say 100 cm 25 ohm la. Is it a good number? Let me think. Can 25 ohm. Okay. So right now, what you are doing is you are changing the length. This is positive, by the way. You are changing the length such that uh, you read the potential difference between two points. It is very similar to this kind of circuit here. When you change the length, you are changing the ratio of the resistance. And when you change the ratio of the resistance, you are changing the direction of current flow. Right now, inside the 0 0.5 ampere, the current is flowing down. And the current is flowing down because on top is below, is larger than bottom. But this potential difference kind of depends on the resistance as well. So if I change the resistance, I can very easily change the direction of current flow. Just like here, I changed the value of x and eventually you will reach a point which is zero balance length zero and at that zero point right the potential difference on top and the potential difference below is the same current doesn't flow then after that everything becomes negative so your answer will either start out negative and then become more and more positive or start out negative positive and then will drop down to the negative that would show a very healthy reading okay which is kind of expected and so uh, what I mean by that is like this. Lah. Let's say for example, oh, you take your 20 cm. Lah. Actually, I don't know. These values are just I randomly give one, okay? Mm, don't know one. Lah. Oh, we need the power supply. So you use two battery hole, okay, low three volt. Three. Very hard to divide. I'm going to veto, okay, because my name is teacher. So teacher will veto and put a nicer number to use. La. Let's say 5 volt. Okay, it's just a number. Alright, so what we have here is 2. It's 5 volt. And I think just to make my calculation a bit simple, I will change this to 10. Okay, changing this to 10 allows me to split the resistance evenly. Okay, so this 5 volt will be shared between, now you check up, uh, this resistor, okay, I'm just going to highlight, this resistor and the top wire are considered to be in series. You connected a circuit, you should feel that way, alright? So because they are connected in series, what happened now, right, is that they are going to share out the potential difference. So here to here would be 5 volt which is why the resistor is there in the first place. And here to here, will evenly share out the 5 volt. Hey, no, wait, 5 volt, 5 divided by 2, 2.5 volt. So you get 2.5, and then I, the wire, is going to spread out that 2.5 into a nice layer, nice thin layer of potential goodness across the 100 cm wire. La la, potential goodness. Okay, so uh, this second wire below is like, ha ha, losers. I get the whole 5 volt. Okay, low. Sure, low. Whatever, low. Can, low. Doesn't matter. So this one will take the whole 5 volt. Meaning, right, although the value of X is the same, the amount of potential in x is not the same hmm? okay so um what you will know a few things uh, i have proven this in a previous video 
but just to recap for you, because V is equal to IR, and R is proportional to the length, remember? Longer the resistor, I mean longer the wire, larger the resistance. So from here, I can say that the potential difference is proportional to L. Right? Let's say we take your 20 cm, 0.2 meter, or 20 cm. If 2.5 volt is spread out across 1 meter, okay, then 20 cm will take 1 fifth of 2.5. So here to here would be 0 0.5 volt. So I'm going to start. Uh, this is 10 volt. This line here is 10 volt. 10 drop already will become 5 volt. If this is 20 cm, 5 drop 0 0.5 volt. Because 20 the 1 meter is 2.5. 20 cm would be 2.5 divided by 5. 0 0.5. So this point would be 4.5 volt. Okay, yeah? Alright. So now we are still going to take 20 cm. But in the perspective of the wire, the wire gets... Why did I keep... Wait, is it correct? Hang on, no, it's wrong. Not 4.5, my bad. So 2.5 is still okay, no worries. 2.5, 5 volt become 2.5 volt. 2.5 minus 0 0.5 becomes 2 volt. Okay, so this one is 2 volt, my bad. So this one is 5 volt, so here is 5 volt. You drop 80 cm. When you drop 80 cm, here would be 4 volt. Here would be 0 already. Okay? Because it doesn't this one doesn't it doesn't matter what the 25 is. It never mind. Okay, so 5 volt here is shared throughout the wire. 100 cm is 5 volt. Okay? So if this is 20 cm, this x is 20 cm means the remainder is 80 cm. So that would be 4 volt. Lah. So this point here will read 4 volt. Which means the voltmeter reading would be 2 minus 4. Because the positive terminal is connected to 2, you get negative 2 volt. Okay? So as you change the slider position, this one will become smaller and smaller and this one will become bigger and bigger so there will be a point right where it cancels out one but all these numbers will align they have to align okay so if you want to know the derivation if i have time i will record another video lah, but i don't want this video to be too long okay so go and think about it what kind of values do we actually need such that it is possible for me to find a zero balance point because this one uh, the way i look at it is the when i slide this thing down this two volt will become smaller and smaller right then when i slide this thing up this four volt will become bigger and bigger so the number will be more and more negative hmm? okay so then how should i adjust my wires or what should happen such that i can get a zero balance point okay but the whole idea here is the same lah. you are spreading out the potential varying the length to measure the potential difference across the voltmeter so take some time think about it and then uh, we can have further this discussion very soon take care guys i think this is the end of circuits well done uh, good luck with your next chapter and i will see you when i see you Bye-bye.